The department offers an undergraduate program in electrical and electronic engineering. The purpose of the qualification is to develop an engineering intellectual who can identify, assess and formulate the engineering needs of society at large and research and solve the identified engineering problems creatively and innovatively by applying scientific, mathematical, engineering, economic and other relevant principles and methods. The qualification prepares students for an engineering science, design and project-based career through fundamental understanding, use and appropriate application of engineering methods, skills, tools and information technology. The qualification also provides a platform for lifelong learning. The degree requires applicants to have a minimum APS score of 32 with at least 60% in mathematics, English and physical sciences. There are several personality traits that most engineers share. Among them are curiosity, critical thinking, creativity, effective communication and a collaborative spirit. Engineers learn by doing and therefore must love working with their hands and love to solve problems. Individuals who remain curious throughout their lives while employing sharp critical thinking skills combined with the ability to clearly communicate their ideas in a creative and collaborative way are those who will be successful in the field of engineering. The Washington Accord, with EXA being a signatory, is an agreement on the mutual recognition of degrees that provide the educational foundation for professional engineers or equivalent designations. As the degree in electrical and electronic engineering is accredited by EXA, it means that the BN degree offered from this department is internationally recognized. A learner should consider a career in the BEng program that the department offers because with the rapid advancements in technology in each and every industry or business today, every company or organization wants to keep up with the pace of the ever-changing process, programs and science. This can only happen when we have skilled engineers. Nowadays, every organization requires engineers to develop, build, test and research solutions to the problems which they are trying to solve. Well-reputed companies are hiring skillful people in this profile actively and will continue to do so in the coming years. Though it is true that many professions benefit the society in one form or the other, engineering is a career choice which proves to benefit the society in a huge way. Engineers have a profound effect on the world in that their work translates scientific innovation into real-world functionality. The department houses and supports EXA, SIIE and IEEE student chapters which are active in the department. The student chapters are active in a range of community engagement projects which includes the development of a range of sensors and sensing devices utilized for a variety of applications. We work with botanical gardens, national parks, hospitals, local communities and more to find local solutions to local problems. Devoid of basic services such as electricity, running water and roads, Kwakwane has little to no access to infrastructure, development and public services. The remote village was a technologically uncultivated and digitally inhospitable land inhabited by 70 to 100 people. In 2013, the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Science partnered with key role players in the South African industry on a project to create a sustainable digital village by giving the villagers access to basic services and stimulating socio-economic development activities through sustainable interventions, including solar lights and charging stations, solar-powered water pumps and geysers, and a commercial-grade photovoltaic solar bakery. The department, in collaboration with the EXA, SAIEE and Saimeki student chapters, are busy with the wheelchair project in collaboration with Lataba Hospital in Sanin. Students are building wheelchairs by modifying old shopping trolleys and building seats from cardboard and flour to create custom-built wheelchairs. These wheelchairs are to be used by children with cerebral palsy who do not have access to wheelchairs. Boasting with one of the best equipped photonics laboratories in Africa, the department is one of the engineering departments in South Africa that is focused on real-world applications of photonics, giving students the opportunity to apply the science. Projects range from designing and manufacturing fiber laser sources for communication and telecommunications to sensor applications for civil structures. 
Going forward, the centre is exploring chemical and biochemical sensing, especially for water quality monitoring with the use of optical fibre sensors in addition to developing sinkhole monitoring technology. The 4IR Experience Lab can be found in the Department of Electrical and Electronic Engineering Science. The Smart Lab demonstrates the use and utilisation of a range of 4IR technologies which can be used in industrial and engineering applications. The lab houses AR and VR technologies, rapid prototyping equipment, as well as a range of 4IR demonstrations. Okay, turning on motor. <laughs> My name is Temikosi Mkwenyana. I'm the electrical technical manager. So this is uh, one of our labs. Um, today we had ETN1B, which had uh, we are teaching uh, students how to how to do circuits and measure current and uh, voltages and other particles that they need to know. From here we have our stores where the students collect the, all the components, resistors, capacitors. This is where they get them and then they've got a team of technicians that uh, are able to assist them here. This is our lab. We do both inreach and outreach programs for the faculty. Um, some of our uh, outreach programs are funded by Standard Bank where we train teachers in coding and robotics. And inreach programs, we have learners and students uh, from within the campus, outside the campus, who visit our campus to come and see some of our programs, some of our robots. Um, and I have my colleagues over here who are going to demonstrate some of the robots that we're doing in campus or in the lab here. My name is uh, Dr. Sam Mayer. I'm studying here at UJ. Um, I'm a final year. Um, I chose UJ because I think um, the facilities, uh, they cater for um, my course. My name is Trisha Mapena. I'm in my third year and I'm studying here because UJ is based, it's practically more on for our students are highly sought after by both international and local employers. It is because our students not only have a good engineering knowledge but get experience in the application of this knowledge through collaborative community engagement and research projects. The University of Johannesburg, the future reimagined.